Right here, guys. It's Tell from TH Tree. He's going to talk to you about the Hyomatic Iveco Daily that I've had for a year now. Um, I'll quickly show you around it. You can see the bad boy of the whole truck, the whole point of everything is this. You've got P for making peas and parking your car. You've got D for drive, N for neutral, R for reverse. Um, to operate this one is pretty straightforward. When you want it in eco mode, you just tap it. It's automatically always in eco mode, but if you want it in eco mode, you just tap it back. If you want it in power mode, tap it again. So it's you just tap power, eco, power, eco, just like that. If you want to go into manual mode, I don't know why you would. I've tried it and I keep cocking it up because once it's in manual mode, you have to click it back into drive or whatever. But anyway, you can then go up and down the gears. You've got eight gears, you can click it up and down here, just like that. So you can go me, 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 like that. But you buy an automatic because it's automatic. It's also got, we've got the um, auto air conditioning. I just don't really get it, but I bought it anyway. Uh, there's the air conditioning button there. You're nice. These are really nice, to be fair. Uh, heated mirrors uh, and an alarm. We went for the iPad docking station as well, because um, why not? Also, we got the. See that? Heated seats, which are lovely in the winter. And we've got the air suspended seat, which is really good. What else? We've got electric windows. Uh, let's pop that there. What else did we get? Uh, all kinds of stuff for it, but um, also we got with the um, when you go for the Hymatic, we've got the blue. I'll show you. We've got the blue, uh, like surround and the blue seat covers and the blue. I don't know. I like it. It's blue. Um, so anyway, that came with it. You get got cruise control. Um, sat nav. Oh yeah, the sat nav's there. Um, which is the sat navs are the, the software and the sat navs annoying it's it's a little bit slow to the touch the touch response is terrible um the other good thing you get when you buy a hummer is you get the chrome grill the three little chrome bits on the front of the grill uh, and i think the design of the truck is beautiful i really love it's a really good looking truck i really like it you know it's the best looking truck that i've seen if i thought there was a better looking truck i would have gone and got it if i had the money um which i did because i bought this what else uh, yeah, well, you've got good storage under the seats now, so you don't have to tuck it underneath. You you literally store it in the seats. Really handy. Everything works really well on the truck. Uh, when you when you turn, whichever direction you turn, the fog lights come on as well, which sort of, I thought that was a, a, a like a, manu a malfunction, but it's actually supposed to do that. All cars do that apparently now. It's got add blue. Gets through probably um, a 15 litre. Is it 15 litre? You know one of those, them, one, them tubs? The one, the, I don't know what the fuck they are. Um, anyway, they cost about... 13 quid or 14 quid does them every does one of them every 3,000 miles roughly somewhere like that so you're probably going to go through 100 quids worth of ad blue a year one to 100 to 150 quid worth of ad blue a year which is not that much it's still another cost but you feel good because you're protecting the environment from nitrogen nitrous oxide or not nox don't know what it is um well, uh, yes, yeah, so we've got the three litre with 180 horsepower. Oh, it's a bad boy. When you put it in power mode, the thing just pooms. It goes. With a full load and a chip on the back, we're tree surgeons, so uh, we use it for that. Um, it shoots off. I'm going to have to pause you because one of my workers is about to disturb me. Hang on. What do you want? What do you want? Ah. Are you all done? Nah. nah. Just doing the tops. Top faces. Lovely. Nice one. Good work. Yeah, and anyway, I ain't got long. I'm going to do these in five minutes. Um, got loads of different spaces. It's really handy. It's got cup, the old cup holders on Ivecos were terrible. These new ones, I might as well show you quickly. Look, they're really good. They're hard to break. Um, day running lights. I'd like it if they was LED, but they're not. They're just day running lights, but they still look good. Well, so, um, yeah, it's a great truck. It's a really good truck. If you liked Ivecos in the first place, you'll love this one. It really is a step up. Um, I would think about it, it's better than the old one. Uh, and I've got I've got the older model one and I still love it, so I've still got that one in the manual, obviously. But yeah, the it's worth it for the automatic all day long. The automatic is fantastic. I was worried that, because we carry loads of chip all the time, it might, might strain and struggle. But I've got three years warranty, three years servicing. So in three years' time, I'll sell it and get another one. So I shouldn't have to worry, you know. And if you're insured as well, you, you've got your ass covered. So it is, it, out of all the three and a half tonners, I think it is the best one by a country mile. Um, they all carry roughly a ton. You know, if you're going to argue over 100 kilos here or there, it's totally irrelevant. It's, they carry about a ton, all of them. You can make, make them lightweight. I mean, these are 15, you can carry 15, 1600 kilos uh, without, uh, hang on, someone nearly 
driving. Oh, we were parked on the road here. But what else? Um, sound system's pretty damn good. Oh yeah, I got the wing mirrors are. Um, they move. They, uh, you know, electric wing mirrors. They're handy. Everything's electric now on this one. The old one didn't have it. I've got a brick tip tipper, which is all right, but they don't tip as good as the old brick tip tippers. For some reason, it's either I can get more on this truck or this tipper's rated a lot less. They've damn rated them, I don't know. Um, so I've got to address that. But other than that, yeah, no, the truck's the nuts. I love it. Highmatic, I'm such a fan. I, I will be never going back to a manual truck ever again. It'll be a, it'll be a IV car all the way. Um, they seem to be designing really good looking trucks. Reliability wise, yeah, really good. My old one was seriously good. It was well reliable. The only thing I ever replaced was a union joint on the prop shaft. Uh, booting it down the motorway to be my mate, mate was you know if you can say race and tr truck in the same term we was racing our three and a half times we wasn't racing that's not what we were doing we was just we was just um, clearing the engine um, anyway yeah so and that's the only thing that ever went, went wrong with that one this one I've had it a year not a thing's gone wrong with it um, the only real annoyance with it is the sat nav's annoying it's, it's the the, the whatever they call it the entertainment system whatever it is the, the the screen it's very slow to respond and it's bloody annoying. Um, the sat nav speaks a little bit too much the verbosity they call it which I now know uh, you can turn that down luckily to turn it right to minimum because even at minimum it's too much but yeah nothing else to add really got air conditioning which is great in the summer heated seats for the winter um, got a little armrest there which is cool the seat's got loads of settings on it um, if you're looking to buy a, a Hymatic mate they're, they're, they're really worth it I had to go brand new because there was no second hand ones obviously because it's a new thing uh, but now you've probably got second hand ones on the market you can get a better price than i paid mine was nearly 40 grand um i'm sure you can pick up a highmatic for probably 20 grand now uh, won't have the specs it's, it won't be like this one this one's like the uh, the mac daddy all the toys and bells and whistles and things that make you smile for 30 seconds and then you're bored anyway yeah, seven minutes that's too long um if you look i hope you hopefully you like the video it's useful for you if you're looking at a three and a half tonner i, I think this is the best three and a half tonner on the market um go for the most power you can don't go you can get a 200 horsepower one but this i mean the, my one 180 horsepower drinks a lot of fuel so i went i compromised with uh, fuel economy to a degree it does get through a lot of fuel you'll probably get what do i get i might as well quickly show you because i haven't got a clue don't turn that on it's got a good screen tells you loads of stuff all pressure and all that um tells you how much the engine's been mine's been running for 400 hours oh there you go average consumption 19.2 let's try trip b it's so a 19 and a half to 20 miles per gallon I've averaged. So it is a greedy girl. Um, but if you want power, you've got to feed the beast. You can get the 2.3, I think, with a lot less power, but I want power. I, I'm happy to pay a little bit extra in the fuel charges and the blue. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, please comment. Just do whatever you've got to do. Thank you.